Frank, just an <laughs> unbelievable performance by Steve Nash's club tonight from the jump. They were amazing. Yeah, record setting performance in so many ways in terms of three pointers made. Obviously, point differential. Wire to wire victory for the Brooklyn Nets. This is now their sixth uh, playoff win. They are 10 away from winning an NBA championship. And to me, this was the kind of statement where they look like the best team in the NBA. A lot of talk about James Harden. How about the way that they came out shooting the ball? And for the Milwaukee Bucks, you could not have been softer tonight. That was as soft as it gets, but that was a total domination by the Brooklyn Nets, knocking down shots led by Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving. What a performance. I have to tip my cap to you too, brother, because in the first quarter, this one said as we were watching the game, this is going to be a 40-point game tonight, and it was almost 40. It was 39. It was the Nets' biggest playoff win in their franchise history. The previous high was 24. Let's take a look at the game summary. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he came in to this game averaging over 38 points per game against the Nets this season, just 18 points and 11 boards. While Kevin Durant did not play in the fourth quarter and put up those ridiculous Crazy. numbers. Let's go back to Barkley Center now. Welcome Michael Grady and Sarah Kustak and guys to Frank's point. This was a woodshed beating by the Nets at Barkley Center in game two and Michael I think Kevin Durant was listening to you before the game saying he could hit a couple more shots I think he did that tonight <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, I, I'm really speechless Chris to be honest with you uh, number one the crowd once again was electric from the jump we talked about it before the game you know passing through the fans you could feel this sense of urgency to want to take care of business in game two and we felt like that would feed off on the players look the players came in they were locked in they threw the opening punch and they kept throwing punches one of the things i was curious about was whether or not the nets would allow the bucks to throw the first punch if the nets would be somewhat tentative and then try to work their way back through it after a flurry would come from milwaukee we're still waiting on that flurry. <laughs> We're still waiting on a punch from Milwaukee. This was an unbelievable performance, Coos, and, and uh, it was amazing to see. Box office. <laughs> Box office for all the things we have heard Kyrie Irving or Kevin Durant talk about wanting fans to see a show and putting on a show on the main stage. My goodness, these tickets, the prices are going up because, I mean, this was an exquisite performance. The Nets put on a clinic. I know we're going to dig into a lot of things here in the post game. The performances, top to bottom, how locked in these players were. But took care of the basketball, took care of the glass, and had excellent activity and connectivity on the defensive end. And so much of what this team does is predicated on getting stops and allowed them to flow into their offense. And then it was highlight after highlight. I mean, just the ferocity of oh. how the Nets were attacking the Bucks. It, it was something, it was start to finish. There was not a moment of let up of the message they wanted to send, not only to this Bucks team, in the second game of the series, but about what they're intending to do in the postseason. And just to piggyback that once again to the crowd, you know, there are certain players in the league with their teams, they may not want them to do the razzle-dazzle crowd-pleasing plays because it may go against the game plan. This is the comfort zone of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. This is what they do, and they're efficient at it, and it gets the crowd enthused and into the game. There were so many sequences where the Nets would have a spectacular play, maybe a stop on one end, come down the other end. Kevin Durant, a crossover on Giannis, takes him back and then finishes right in his face. The layup, that one sequence at the end of the third quarter, you know, he had the, he had the up and under layup, but then to close out the third quarter, he's sizing Giannis Adetokounmpo up. And if you thought that this was a demoralized Milwaukee Bucks squad, to look at the two-time MVP in his face and say, I don't care what you do defensively, I'm putting this in your grill, and he did so to close out the quarter, it was unbelievable, and it was I mean, it just takes the spirit right out your chest. I felt like we have seen all, whether you're on YouTube, on social media, Twitter, you've seen the, the old-school clips of Kevin Durant at Rutgers. <laughs> this is this is this is what it felt like. 